So I've gotten a lot of flack already for the uh, Pi Storm. This is the Pi Storm test machine that I've got, which is a uh, Rev 8.1 motherboard. I've actually upgraded it to uh, one meg of chip RAM uh, on the motherboard, one meg expansion, and then it already has a, a two meg Agnes since it's a 8.1. Not fully a 500 plus, even though you can kind of see that it is silk screened as a 500 plus because it doesn't have the RTC and you know all that junk. But as you can see, the CPU has been replaced with the Pi Storm itself. This instance is MU68 running, it is not Linux. There is no Linux kernel going on here. This is running bare metal from the Raspberry Pi itself. And then I've got a RGB to HDMI. That's just to convert the, the video into something usable. Uh, also using a GoTech. So let me go ahead and power this up so you guys can see how long it takes to boot. We'll actually see the uh, screen boot up here in just a second. This is 3.14, so this will take a second or two to actually load. But you can actually see kind of the outline of everything already. And there you go so just to verify there you go should only have two megs of chip ram but there is eight megs of ram as well and that's coming from the pi storm mu68 so let me go ahead and flip over here and get sysinfo loaded again running off of a GoTech, so just to keep things simple. All right, shows up as a 040. There's two megs chip. Agnes ECS. Let's do memory. There's our eight megs of fast RAM. Two megs of chip. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. There you go, 201. Again, no Linux at all running in here. This is not running from a Pi Storm. This is not Pi Mega. This is not Win UAE or anything like that. This is the Pi Storm or the the Raspberry Pi here is running bare metal MU68, which is just purely running as a CPU itself. No Linux, no nothing. Again, there's your speed. And they're only going to get better.